Welcome. You know what time it is. It's Friday night. We are live from my basement. We are drinking apple teenies. And you know what that means. I got guests because I got more than one apple teeny over here. I'm going to bring them out in a minute. But why don't you go get yourself a drink right now? Bring it back. Settle in. We're going to talk the Oscars tonight. We've got a special musical guest. Let me hear that guitar one time, Kevin. Thank you very much. And we're going to talk Night Watchman updates as well as the Who Gives a Fuck file. And we're going to do a little bit of Follow Friday. So um, go get your drinks. Come on back. We're ready to start this show. My first guest tonight, you know him. He's always here. He lives right up the street. He's a really good friend of mine. Johnny Giovingo. Come on out, Johnny Giovingo. What's happening, buddy? All right, I see you're drinking beer tonight. I am drinking beer. All right, so yeah. I got a glass out here for you. Oh, don't worry. I'll be using that one. All right, yeah. so we'll get to that in a little bit. All right, let me uh, just bring up over here, Johnny G, before we bring out Robert Neal Marshall Jackson, Mississippi the third. Before I bring him out, let me bring this up so we can get comments from the home audience. So if you have a comment, light it up, people. Light it up. All right, there we go. <clears throat> All right, well, let's see if we got any audio. Oh, we do have audio. That's, That's amazing. Check. That's yep. always good. Audio check is good. Excellent. All right, so welcome. To our Oscar special. If you don't have a suit and tie on or a tux, go get one. Oh, hey, what happened? Uh, you know what happened? What happened? I, did, I misunderstood what you said. I thought you were saying Oscar's party and not Oscar party. So I just dressed to come to Oscar's party. Uh, damn. Well, anyway, I think you look great. Thank you. So we're going to go over the Oscar picks in a little bit. Uh, my second guest tonight, let's bring him out. You know him. He's our entertainment consultant. It's Robert Neal Marshall Jackson, hey, Mississippi hey. Jr. Oh, right, right, right. Hey, again, good to see you. Happy, happy you? Oscars yes, night. Happy, happy Oscars. Oscars, everybody. We dressed up for the occasion. We've got oh, the Apple There you go. Cheers. Hey, Cheers, John. John. Good, John, good seeing you. You're looking good, good man. Yeah, I'm trying, There's I'm one trying. in every party that's got to stand out from the crowd. We all look the same. It's you, usually you me. Stood out. I think, no, I think it's great. I think it's great. Um, one thing I want to do is I want to say, hey... Our good friend Dan Franco couldn't be here, but we got Dan, his glass. This is your glass, man. This right? is for you. We miss you. We, do. we miss you. But we're going to be talking about you, so don't think you're going to get off the hook. Yes, we have your Oscar picks, and we're going to go over those as well. Yep. We're, going to, we're going to explain why each one of your picks is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so. I tried to argue with him. Well, I but, hope you that know. wasn't the one I copied off of. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. We all have our own different. <laughs> no, okay, no, no. so we got a big list tonight. This is a big show. Hey, it is a big this show. This is the first time we have had live music it, on Apple Teens with Ken. It mm -hmm. is and it isn't. It's the first time we've had somebody who isn't related. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Right, like, like we're doing this like almost like, like it's almost like a real show. It almost is. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yes, I've had music on the show before. My son, Kenny. He's played. Ah, Kenny. Oh, of course. And of course, and of of course, course. years ago we had yeah. Rick Kane on the show. He played a song. Ah, as well. right. So, right. But tonight we are back to it because it's going to become mm. a regular thing here on Apple yeah, Teens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to have musical guests as often as we can book them. Because you don't want to listen to us ramble on like we usually do. We thought we've got to fill in sometime with some real entertainment, right? Exactly. Okay. So, uh, Jamie Nash is watching with Diane Jamie, Lane. Hey, Jamie, Jamie Nash. Jamie. How are you, Jamie? Diane, hey, love you, man. You're gorgeous. Thank you. And then, of course, my son is watching. He lives in the best. Yeah. None of that. Well, right. We, we, we got your picture. We'll get your picture in there later. Okay. Mm. Okay. Man, this is a good batch of apple teenies, John. You don't know. I'm, well, I'm yeah. almost done with that. So. All right, there's one this time. So, John, tell us a little bit about that beer and this, who made it. Yeah, what is that? This fine brew was mm. brewed about two doors over, mm. over in the uh, in-laws' kitchen. Mm -hmm. Fine batch of beer. It is our Oktoberfest. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and who is our? What's the name of that? The, mm, that would be the Boxing Bar Brewing Company. Yeah. Which is made up of Ken, mm. Dan, who's not here, and myself. Yeah. We're getting a bunch of likes. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Well, you talk about boxing, bard, and brew. I know. Yep. Hey, people are liking alliteration right yeah. there, right? I'm sorry. Well, I had to put that little no, sophisticated. Because yeah, hey, we're dressed up tonight. You know. Okay. Okay. So Bob, come on dude, over and get some. crooked. Who else? Mom. <laughs> Thank you, Mother. It. My mother love is watching tonight. Is it? It's fun. Look, but it's real. Dad, it's, my it's tied for real. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yuck, Oscar's Oscar the show. Oh, this doesn't get too political. Oh, you know oh, it is, Oh, there is going to be politics up your wazoo. I am going to be bashing football yeah. and MMA the entire show. Yeah. That's all i got to tell you. And Major League Baseball. And we haven't even gotten started yet, guys. Okay. Because Major League Baseball has got this new this new rule yeah. that they're instituting this year that, uh, or they're, gonna, they're thinking about doing it, is the intentional walk. They're going to take it out of the game mm. thinking it'll speed it up. Right? 
Somebody forgot Somebody's to turn calling. their cell phone off. <laughs> no, their fans <laughs> calling already. The, these are the, the requests now. Kevin, uh, Kevin is getting requests. So. All right, so the Major League Baseball yeah. is is taking the intentional walkout. Now, Robert, I know this is not your No, but, but I do, but I get it, because okay. that's like putting people out there already. So the minute you hit it, right? Yeah, no. Never no, mind. Okay. Just, but I'll listen. They're going to take the intentional walk out of the game, think it'll speed it up. How many intentional walks in a game, John? Not many. How many? Uh, Some games, none. Yeah. Other not games, many. one, maybe two. Right. Really not going to speed the game that up, right. you know, up that much. And, go ahead. Go my, ahead. my issue with the whole thing is that I think the pitcher should throw the four intentional pitches if he's going to do it. Because if there's a guy on third base, mm -hmm. a pass mm -hmm. ball past oh, the go catcher, ahead, go ahead. pass yeah. ball past the catcher, that guy could potentially score. And that could change the outcome of any game, possibly getting somebody to the championship. So is this like, is this like cheating? It? Is this like cheating? I don't know if it's cheating. It's just like, I don't know. Don't fix it if it's not broke. Okay. That's my whole thing. That makes sense. Exactly. Don't fix it if it's not broke. Listen, we've been playing baseball for how many years? Oh, 150 over 100. Or something? You yep. know, 150 some years. I didn't think you were playing that long. No, not me. Good oh, I was going to say, yeah. You know, does the game have to go a little faster? A little. But they can do that by not allowing the pitchers as many warm-up pitches between mm. innings. Things like that. You don't need to change the game itself. And, and I think that's what that, they're that, trying to like do. If, if this were theater, this is almost like yeah. adding an extra act yeah, or something. For no reason. No reason to do it. Yeah. Why do you need to well, do it? Well, because you could sell more hot dogs, you could sell more beer. No, no, there's, no. There's a is there a make, marketing thing here? They're trying to make the game quicker, which right. would be less. People don't yeah. like well, to make any sense, watch though. the entire yeah. game. But, the, but, but yeah, I'm serious, guys. So, I mean, isn't it about marketing? Isn't it about yes. making money? It's, it's about... It's about today's society and how we want instant gratification now, mm. and we can't sit right. still for three hours. Right. We've got to be moving. We've got to be on our phones. That's yeah. what it's about. Yeah. It, it's it's really going to affect the diehard baseball fans like myself and yourself, mm -hmm. who actually enjoy watching every single pitch of every single baseball game. So it's, it's dumbing it's dumbing down the game. It is. If okay. I could, I would watch every. 162 games. A season. Amazon Alexa is going to umpire in 28. I might be weird, but that's how I like it. What's that mean? What's that? Amazon, what Jamie said, Amazon, Amazon Alexa's Alexa is going to umpire. Alexa, the thing you go, Alexa. Ah, that Alexa. That Alexa is going to be umpire. Larry Haynes, what's up, buddy? How you doing? All right. Larry, we don't Larry, know who you are, but you're here. Good friend of mine from back home. Oh, hey, Larry. From Long hey, Island. friend of John's from Long Island. Long hey. Island. Hey, I'm a, I'm a New Yorker, too, originally. Larry but. appreciates good beer. This yeah. is good beer, Larry. Who doesn't? Come down and have some. Yeah, exactly. All right, well, let's talk. What? Oscars. 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 Right, enough with the baseball stuff. We'll get okay. more into that as baseball needed. season goes. This, because this weekend, what's going on in Hollywood, people? The biggest event of the year. Right? The Oscars. Right? The a acting and, and movies' biggest night. Somebody's going to be making a lot more money after Sunday, right? Yeah, well, you not know? true. Not true, because you've heard of the Oscar curse. I've heard people curse. No, the Oscar curse. Yeah, they win that? an Oscar and then boom, their career goes nowhere. Well, that's Holly sucks. Berry. Oh God, Jason I don't Ford. want to win an Oscar then. God, God. if I'm going to get cursed, yeah, no. I love Holly Berry. I think she's amazing. I do too, but, but not if you're going to be cursed. She's, she's, she's easy on the eyes too. She is easy on the eyes, but her career kind of stalled. Right, it went right. Well, she did that TV show Extant. I thought it was good. Mm, she did Catwoman after. No? Well, yeah. no. Ah, but I think of Eartha Kitt. Kind of, you know. Eartha Kitt. Was Catwoman before or after she won the Oscar? Jamie Nash. Yeah. Fill me in. Yeah. Look it up. Look He's it up. Go he ahead. probably knows. Okay, so Oscar night. So what, no, what, what, what's going on this particular year that's different from any other year? What, what, what's going on at the Oscars, Ken? You're, you're the What's expert. going on? Uh, 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 this year? Yeah. And other years? Nothing really. Why? No, I'm just asking. I'm trying. I'm, I'm feeding you lines here so you can like make up something so these people can just watch us do more than just drink. Right, guys? Um, Jill Redding. Ah, Jill Redding is watching us. Jill, we hope Hi, you are Jill. having a wonderful Hi, time in warm weather. We miss you. We are waiting for you to come back. Kind of sounds creepy. Look, here's though, the thing. Watching you. Okay. Here's the thing. Here's with, the thing with Oscar. Oscar. All right. And and this was in the movie um, uh, uh, Tropic Thunder. Tropic Thunder. Yes. yes. And, and if you remember, here's the here's the advice that I have for people: don't go full on, and you'll win an Oscar. If you go full on, you're not winning an Oscar. Sorry, you're just not. You talk about underplaying the role, or you just talk about Dwayne, the career? D Wayne, right? Yeah. Am I right? Am I right? Dwayne Bacon. J Ma. Yeah. Am I right? Don't go full on. Kevin Jiggins, don't go Less full on. Less is more, on. yeah. Okay. And you'll win an Oscar. Right. Just, okay. I'm just throwing that out there to all my actors. Well, some of, some of these contenders, though, you, I think some of them did go full on, but some of them didn't. Some of them, like, barely did it, and they're there. <laughs> Yes, your your thing is getting crooked again. Your mom's, mom's gonna okay. My mom's gonna go crazy. Go. All right, thank you. <laughs> All right. 
It's a real bow tie, guys. That's it why. Is. Okay. All right. So before we go into our Oscar picks, okay, because and we uh, got a lot. We, we got, got a lot, lot here. We got Dan's too, so we got to go through that. Okay. Um, let's talk about who gives a fuck file. Oh, uh -huh. who gives a fuck? Right. I mean, who really. This is this is from the who gives a fuck file. We're gonna do this every week. It's, it's a regular my thing, guys. Thing. Yeah. It's my favorite thing because I came up with it, but. <laughs> Of course, you're ready. You're ready for this. All right, what? What? What's, who what's watches The Walking Dead? Yeah, this right? guy. Well, 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 yeah. Me, we all watch yeah, The Walking yeah. Dead, right? Yeah. Negan on the show. Yeah. What's his saying that he does when he picks people out to kill? Uh, wait. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Right. Catch, it's a kid's. It's a kid's poem. Catch a tiger by the toe. Yeah, but the T-shirt. Yeah. Says eeny, meeny, miny, moe, and it's got his bat on it. That's it. Just the bat. Yep. Yeah. His bat with the. Which should imply right, right. Negan. Thank you, Tony. Walking Dead. Walking Dead. Right. Right. Yeah. So. This week, somebody, some minister from down south, complained yeah. that it had racial bow tones. How's it have racial overtones? I, you know, it me growing up, I always heard it as catch a tiger by the toe. I never heard it any Kiss other today. way. Kiss today. They play yes. it. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe, catch a tiger by the toe. toe. If, if he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, miny moe. And then you, I pick you, and then yes. the kid's out. It's a game. Yes, or it's, it's a game. And I never even thought about it until Wait. I heard the history of it. Yeah, you know what? You're right. Because there was a long, long time ago yes. different words that yes. were not respectable, that were actually mm -hmm. very bad. But that, that was that was it's finished. A long, long it's time over. Ago. We don't use that anymore. It no. doesn't happen that way anymore. That's not what kids today think of when right. or, or even adults today. So wait, so wait, the problem is that they are complaining about yes. a poem that is being read in its current context that has no connection to what the old poem used to be. Yes. And they're upset. Yes. Okay. And they pulled the t-shirts, right? Okay. So they pulled the t-shirts and the uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, the actor yeah. who plays Negan, went off. He was like, that's bullshit. Don't blame him. Yeah. I don't blame him either. You know why? Because who gives a fuck? That makes okay? sense. That makes sense. It does. I mean, we got to be sensitive, obviously, yes, to serious things. But this was, this, this was not even part not, of it. It's it, so dumb. It, it's like being mad at somebody for something that would have happened 100 years ago that they never thought about, and no one even considers that way. No. And, and, and here's another thing, right? Um, when you, when, no, I don't even want to talk well, about you, you'd have to I stop, can't even talk about it. You have to stop kids, then, from playing games, right? Like All any games. games. Just stop it. Just right. stop it. You know the one. You know the other one. Ring around the rosy. Yes. Kind of blah, blah. You know yes. that's about a holocaust. That's like a, like a play. Kids, that's awful. Do you need a safe space? I do. I need. A safe I do. Space. I need a safe space. All right, everybody, go to our safe spaces. Safe spaces, everyone. And we'll be back. Take an apple teeny with you. You'll feel better. But no, you can't offend. Obviously, you can't offend anybody anymore. And I'm just going to hit this real quick. Oh, you, oh, you can. You can definitely offend people. I know. Then. <laughs> Very no. easily. No, no, no. I've seen you do it. I, <laughs> yes, I have. Um, but here's the thing: you can't offend anybody anymore. Because everybody gets offended about everything. And here's the deal. Yeah. Publishers are now hiring sensitivity readers to read over stuff and recommend that you do not write that because it's going to look Oh, this, this, is, this is new stuff. Yes. New stuff. Old stuff, too? Well, there are job. people, they're pulling books and stuff from schools. How 1984 George Orwell is that shit? I right. mean, they're actually censoring. Yes, that. That's is that what we're about here in this country? Okay, or, yeah, or I, no, that's not. This is what about no. Grapes of wrath. Hey, <laughs> I'm sorry. We have no a studio audience. From the studio we have a studio audience, audience. <laughs> audience here, guys. I'm just building. saying, grapes of wrath. Mm. <laughs> 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 grapes of wrath. To kill a mockingbird. There's a lot of books. Hold on, hold on. We're supposed to be hiding from yeah. you. Yeah, how'd you find <laughs> us? <laughs> Great. No talking while we're here. Oh. Hey, say hi to Jim McCormick. Hi, Jim McCormick. Hi, Jim McCormick. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Jamie Mash has a link to, for us. Uh, is Negan supposed to, Andrew Dice to, to be Andrew Dice? Yes, he is. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, he is. Yeah. All right, so here's, here's what we're going to do. Okay, what are we going to do? All right. I say, before we start talking Oscars, yeah. we bring out our musical guests. Oh, oh I would love it. it. Let's light get the to mood. it. Let's yeah. lighten the mood up. Kevin Lebling yes. is amazing, guys, and he's live here in the studio. All right, well, give me a second because I gotta move some stuff. Okay. After I move it, you go work the camera. Robert, I'll work the camera, so you can spin it. I'm just gonna stand here and drink. Okay. All right. <laughs> and we're gonna have our, our first. Gonna be this is awesome. <laughs> here we go. Who wants to hear some music? Okay, All standing right. by. We're moving over. All right. Hold on. Can move the thing out of the way. Is that good? You got it. I, got, I gotta get the angle moved on this, Ken. All right, this way. I got it. Ugh. That's okay. We got it. There we go. Awesome. Love it. Hey! 
you a pretty little thing that's plain to see. Yeah, you a pretty little thing that's plain to see. Why the hell, what the hell you doing with a man like me? I got a powerful hunger. I got a mighty thirst. I got a powerful hunger. A supernatural thirst. Well, I want you so bad. Feels like I've been cursed. What it is, what it is that brings you here each night. What it is, what it is that brings you here each night. Well, as long as you're here, you know I'm going to treat you nice. Cause you a pretty little thing, that's plain to see. Yeah, you a pretty little thing, that's plain to see. What the hell, what the hell you doing with a man like me? What the hell, what the hell you doing with a man like me? We will be back with Kevin shortly, but we are going to move back to the studio. Thank you, Kevin. See you Thank soon. You. All right. All right. That was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> Holy crap. Woo. Everybody, man, they just went nuts. They were liking, loving, all oh, kinds good. of stuff. Good stuff. Thank you. That was good Thank stuff. You Thank you very much. All right, we're going to have some more music with Kevin in a little bit, but hey, let's get to our Oscar picks here, guys. All right, let's we go. got important Oscar picks now. All right. Right. Kevin, again, great, great job. All right, so everybody get your Oscar papers out. All right, I got it. Got Oscar we, and we, and we, Oscar Dan, we got Dan Franco's because Dan is not with us tonight. Again, we said, unfortunately, Dan couldn't be here, but he will You're be here in right spirit. Here. We're going to vote. All right, all right, all right. Let's get right to okay. it. Now, let's do Best Picture last, just like they yeah, do. Yeah, like they do. All right, right. I hate that because they keep you waiting the whole time, yeah, and you got to watch all the other, all like ratings. who's Best Actor, who's Best Director, right, and then, right, you know, right, okay. Right. Okay, so. All right, so let's go. Okay. Actor in a supporting role first. Actor, I, I want to end with best, uh, yeah. Best picture. Yes. Okay. Actor in a supporting role first. Okay. Well, you want to read right. the nominees? Yes, I'll read the nominees. Okay. The, the nominees, nominees are. are I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Reading, oh, we're going. I was I was leading you into it. Go for it. I'm gonna throw them off set again, people. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. Okay. Actor in a supporting role. The nominees are. Mm -hmm. I don't have my glasses, so. <laughs> Viola Davis <laughs> for Fences. No. I thought you couldn't read actor it. Actor in a supporting role. Oh, actor in a supporting role. Amateurs. Talking. You well, stop you talking. Talk. No. Okay. Stop talking. Let me do this. You do <laughs> actress. Okay, I'll do actress. <laughs> Marshala Ali, Moonlight. Jeff Bridges, Hell or High Water. Lucas Hedges, Manchester by the Sea. Deb Patel, Lion. Michael Shannon, Nocturnal Animals. And All the right. winner is... Oh, no, wait. We're going to take the winner. Okay. Okay. I, I, personally... Yeah. Moonlight is one of my favorite films of the year. Yeah, it's I am amazing. picking Marshala Ali, Moonlight. Yeah, and you know what? I'm, I'm going to say the same thing. I think Marshala Ali is going to win this one. He's going to take it. It was a really amazing performance. They were all great, but this one, it was a very powerful film. Johnny? I picked the same, not based on his movie, because I haven't seen it, but seeing a lot of his interviews, yeah. the guy seems really well-deserving of it. He really does. Uh, he's amazing. He he's amazing. This guy's an amazing actor. He was in... Um, Hidden Figures as well this yep, year, yep, which right. is Oscar nominated. And we're going to talk about that. And right. he has done. He was in uh, Luke Cage on Netflix. Right. He had a great role in that. He played Cottonmouth. Right. So this guy's really, really taken off. His career is He's just pretty So this could be a pretty exciting night for him. Yes, okay. absolutely. And and Moonlight, but we'll get to that later. Okay. Uh, so Dan's pick. Okay, Dan Franco says actor in a supporting role. No, no, actor in, in a uh, in a leading, leading role. role. Okay. okay. 
All right, Dan says who he wants. He wants Casey Affleck. No, 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 no it was no, supporting no, role. No, Come on, gentlemen. I'll, I'll shut up. Yeah, Otherwise, you're going to throw me off. I wasn't going to say it's his show. Okay, I'll play with you, whatever you want. Okay, <laughs> now, Dan says Lucas Hedges. He's who wants to win for Manchester. Okay, Dan, that's your choice. And Manchester by the Sea, powerful movie as well. But he does predict that Mashallah Ali is going to win for Moonlight as well. That's Dan. Right. Sweet. And, and, and I, I got to say, I'm, I'm the same thing. I, I go with the, uh, Mashallah Ali as well for Moonlight. All right. All right. All right. To the next one. All right. Actress in a supporting okay. role. Okay. May, may I? Am I allowed yes, to do that? Yes, you can. Okay. The nominees for actress in a best supporting role will be Viola Davis for Fences. We have Naomi Harris for Moonlight, Nicole Kidman, mm, Lion, and then Octavia Spencer, Hidden Figures, and lastly, Michelle Williams by Manchester by the Sea. And they're all, they were all wonderful performances. Yes, they were. Okay, so, Ken, what do you think? Actress in a supporting role for me, Viola Davis. I love that woman. I think yeah, she's amazing, amazing in everything actress. she does. And this one, she really knocks it out of the park, especially the scene where she's talking about standing next to him the entire time. Mm. That, if you've seen the film, you know what I'm talking about. She yeah. is awesome in that. I, that. That scene right there gives me chills when I watch it. Yeah. John, how about you, Mike? I went with Viola Davis as well. It seems that everything is going right for her Were right now. Were you cheating off No, I wasn't. Right? I had a few different answers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, did you actually see the movie? I have not, but... You saw her in interviews and you liked well, what she said. Well, yeah. she's a pretty damn good actress. Yeah, yeah no, she is. And when you pair her next to Denzel... Yeah, I mean, that's tough. Wrong. How do you go wrong? You can't go wrong. Now, now guys, I love Viola Davis, Viola Davis, and, and Nicole Kidman. I love Nicole Kidman, too. But in this case, Octavia Spencer and Hidden Figures, there was a power to her performance. It was a strength that I thought was very, very she's believable. Great. It was a great movie. I enjoyed that picture a lot. It was a surprise for me. So I'm going to say, in this case, uh, Octavia Spencer. And let's see what we have. Dan I, said... Go ahead. No, go ahead. Actress supporting. All right, hey, Dan and I are on the same page here. He wants Octavia Spencer as well, Danny. I, I, I'm with you. And he said, um, who will win Viola Davis? All right, now, all right, he says, Dan says, I don't like it when lead actors submit to supporting, in the supporting category. He says, he feels like they're sandbagging to me. Viola Davis is a lead actress in Fences, equal with Denzel, but he says it's unfair to the other supporting actresses in the category for her to be in there with him. So it's true. When, when you have a leading That's actress a that then is in a supporting actress role, is it supporting? Is it leading? It, it is a good argument, but... It's a fine line. She's in the category, so Viola yeah. Davis is winning. She's, she's gonna, and she probably is. And Not to say Octavia sir. Spencer didn't do a great job. That no, movie's no, great. Yeah. I love Hidden no, Fences. Exactly. I have a hidden, hidden figures, Hidden Fences. But this is America. We have choices. We have differences. That's why it's okay to say that. I did the same thing Jenna Bush did. Yes, what she you did. did. Hidden Fences. Hidden Fences. Jenna Bush did that. Yeah, that's it. You know, and that's a good movie too. I loved it Hidden is. Fences. It no, was really... Fences was good. Hidden <laughs> Figures. Hidden Figures. Hidden okay. Figures. All right, so what do we got next, Kenny? Come on, boss. What are we going to do next? All right, so we jump into okay. Best Actor. Oh, the role. Yes. Let's just jump right there. Okay. I'll read the nominees. Casey okay. Affleck, yeah. Manchester by the Sea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Andrew Garfield, mm -hmm. Hacksaw Ridge. Mm -hmm. Ryan Gosling, La La Land. Mm -hmm. Viggo Mortensen, Captain Fantastic. Denzel Washington, Fences. Antonio Lopardo says the winner is Kevin Jiggets for the Night Watchman. Love it. Yes, yes. Yeah. maybe it's a close call though because there also is Ken Arnold hey, in Kenny, it as well. Hey, yes. Kenny, don't worry about it. Mind your own business. <laughs> Yo, John, John. Why isn't John wearing a suit? Kenny Arnold once. He didn't. He I, didn't get the if memo. If you were here on time, you would have understood. What happened. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, um, we we got Jamie Nash said Moonlight is the worst, worst werewolf, werewolf movie. movie. <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> we I agree uh, with you. Great. Okay. All right. So let's get back to Best Actor. Yeah. Um, now, I saw all the films. Yeah. And they're all worthy of an award. Yeah. To be honest. Well, sure. I, I thought Denzel was a little over the top in his performance. In but he's Denzel. Denzel. But he's Denzel. But, and he was directing himself, so there was nobody to mm -hmm. rein him in. Yeah. Okay. So he was just going to go all in. Denzel, the, the word of advice from Ken Arnold and all yes. of us really is just let somebody do else less. do it. Let someone help you. Do less. Yeah. Anyway, my pick, and it's, it's my uh, upset pick. Mm -hmm. is Viggo Mortensen for Captain Fantastic. I thought mm, he yeah. was fantastic yeah, that's in bold. that film. Yeah. That is a bold choice, but he was amazing. You watch that film, it's yeah. a great film. I thought that kid, the ensemble cast as a whole, was incredible. The kids were phenomenal in that. Yeah. So, but I really think Viggo Mortensen, that's my upset pick of the Yeah, and, and it is an upset pick, and it's probably upsetting to a lot of you because... I mean, even though um, Manchester by the Sea was a powerful, powerful movie, a little long in places and heavy, I still think there's something about Casey Affleck in this one because it really was a powerful movie. I think Casey Affleck's going to take this one. What about you, Jeff? I went with the obvious choice because of who he is. 
Denzel. Denzel is. You're going Denzel. Yeah, he, he, okay. he, he's top five. My top five favorite actors. He's just. So, he's just. So good. this also means that America is going to be just as probably as equally divided, right? As probably. we are here tonight. Oh, think. But it doesn't matter what we think. It's what the Academy exactly. thinks and exactly. who the votes are. So you know what? You got to tune in on Sunday night, right? That's why we watch. Out. That's right. why we have that, the that awards. Makes, this is America. Show. We have choices still. And diversity. Okay. And diversity. Shown in our choices. <laughs> you say because I'm gay? No, I'm saying the choices that we just oh, made. Oh, okay. All right. Why is it always got to be about Yeah, why you got to throw that card No, because we're talking about diversity. I was just throwing it in that, yeah, I'm the gay guy on the crowd, and that's okay. It's cool, right? Everybody in with that? Good. Absolutely. Okay. Now, moving on. Ken, what's next? Uh, well... I'm making apple teens over here. You're oh, me off guard. For three. All right, the here boss, we, go. we gotta read it. I'll, I'll uh, read it. Actor, actress in a leading role. Please read the nominees. Actor, right? Actress in a lead. Why am I reading all the actresses? Is this because I'm gay? <laughs> and you're reading all the actors? Are you serious? No. Just no. Throw, throw in that card again. Throw in that oh, card. Okay. Please. Actress in a leading role. Isabel Hubbard. Okay, hold on. What? Man. Then you can't do the director, or you can't do best picture. Then when we get to that. Oh, Why? Oh. Because they're only gay. They're straight men. What? What? How do you know they're all straight? You I don't, don't know, know that. But what is your point about my that? Point I can't do is, director. My point is, I would do one, you would do one. It's just oh, what happens. Oh, it's eeny, meeny, miny, yes. moe. Catch, catch up, up director. director. Oh, yeah. back to that again. All right, go. Okay, actor in a, no, actor in a leading role. Actress in a leading role. Isabel Hubbard L. Ruth Nega. Loving. Oh, amazing movie. We've got Natalie Portman for Jackie. Jack and Onassis. Emma Stone, okay, she's a big pick. La La Land, and of course, Meryl, Meryl Streep. Ah, uh, really? Florence Foster Jenkins. That movie was not, awesome. not one of her better movies. No. I love, love, love Ms. Meryl Streep. Give me Ms. Meryl anytime. But this movie was, was, it was better than I thought it would be. But She's bringing down my football and MMA vibe. Just a little bit, right? Yeah. Okay, so, Johnny, you start off, man. I what went with Emma you? Stone. Emma Stone. Emma Stone. She's okay. a pretty talented kid. And I say, So were you a big La La Land fan? No. Not at all. So I what, what about it? Tell us why Emma Stone with all these incredible actors. And you've got, you got your apple teeny there. Thank you very much, Ken. You're welcome. She's uh, got what it takes. She's very good at what she does. She has these incredibly uh, huge eyes that make her look like an alien. Okay. I'm uh, saying. Uh, hey, beauty's always a light switch away. Uh, speaking of alien, speaking of alien, that's a perfect opening to go into um, Danny's choice, who he wants, Amy Adams, for a rival. Who is beautiful. She is beautiful, gorgeous. I, I loved her even when I saw her in Enchanted. Which our buddy Matt Servito was in. Or Night of the Museum 2. Yeah, Night of the Museum 2. But snub. Yeah, Dan says it's yeah, a snub. She was I think just... Amy Adams was jobbed on the nomination. Her performance at Rival was so complex. and so... It was, Dan. It was. Absolutely. But who will win Emma Stone, La La Land? I hate to say this. I think, personally, I love Natalie Portman. And people have said, oh, but Natalie Portman, she was just so soft. And she talked in this voice like Jackie Onassis. And I said, you know what? Yeah. That was Jackie Onassis. That was the voice. It was the character. I thought she embodied that. And that was really powerful in this movie, what this woman went through. But I think, ultimately, probably Emma Stone is going to take it. Ken, what do you think? Do you really want to hear my... Because I'm going to offend some people right now. Go, no, go ahead. Lay it out. Lay it out. Lay it out. I am going with Emma Stone as well. All right? But you know why? Because La La Land is probably going to win a ton of awards. You know why? Because it's Hollywood jerking all over itself. Oh, my like, God. God. <laughs> What an really? Yeah, it's true. Really? It's true. Because it's not a great musical. It really isn't. They're it's better not. musicals, yes. yes. They're better it's musicals. It's not a great musical. It's just Hollywood blowing smoke up its own ass. But it's a style that hasn't been done in a long time. Someone's really? got to do it Moulin first. Really? Rouge. Well, that was Chicago. Good. He's Australian. It was Baz Luhrmann. No, no. But still. Okay. You, you can't measure no, I'm cra no, Chicago, Chicago, the show was amazing. I was not as crazy about the movie. Well, I thought the movie was pretty good. It was now, all right. But you is would, it The yeah. Sound of Music? No. No, but nothing's the sound. Did I music. like the story in La La Land? Yes. Yeah. Did I like the movie? Yes. Is it worthy of all these awards? No. In my opinion. Well, you know what? But Holly, Hollywood, like Hollywood, Hollywood, was, Hollywood will speak. Participation trophy. Right? Yeah, another participation trophy. Hey, oh, it's about Hollywood, yep. so we got to give it all these awards. No, you don't. Yeah, you really don't. You know, like because movies, there are better movies should. out there. There are movies should. made all over the place. Okay, all right, so Arrival what is a better movie. I'm sorry, but it is. But it's not a musical. Don't care. But it wasn't it's a musical. Movie. This was best. Oh, this it's wasn't a best better musical. movie. It's better written. Yeah, it's better okay. acted. All of it. You had two actors in the lead roles who couldn't even sing and dance. True that. I'd like to. But you could do it. What? Sing and dance, right? Yeah, but <laughs> it ain't that good. <laughs> no, I can sing and dance. You know, I went to an audition one time. 
<laughs> once? Yes, one time. One Just time. once. I went to one. Just once. Dude, that's a true story. And, and they said, hey, can you sing? And <laughs> I didn't realize that we had to sing at this audition. And you know what I said? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, great, sing a song. Uh, you know what I sang? An eeny, meeny, miny, mo? No, but something similar. <laughs> Oh, you ready? I'm gonna way. sing it real quick, just okay. for you guys. Okay. Can we get some musical accompaniment? Now we have I another musical free. guest. Okay. No, it's it's um, doe and deer, a female deer. Oh jeez. Okay. Ready? Ken's auditioning. All right, take one. I say doe, right? Yeah. The stuff that buys me beer, Ray. The guy who sold me beer, <laughs> me. The guy who drinks the beer, fa. A long way to go for beer. <laughs> That was so, good. Uh, Tony, 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 Tony Lopato right. says, let's see Ken do a split. So okay. that's yeah. right. that's and right. he says, John, drink. Drink. Just drink. Just drink. John. Just drink. Okay. okay. There we go. That was good. That was I will, really Tony. Good. And I am. Speaking of which, you and I both had auditions this week, didn't yes. we? Well, let's well, let, 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 let me go back to my story. Okay. I didn't get that role. Yeah. No. <laughs> I wonder why. Get out of here. God. Look, those people will never, robbed. ever forget me. No, never. no, that's, that's true. But and, and, uh, that's a true story. I actually did that in an audition a very long time ago. If it was a comedy, I would have hired you. Oh, my God. Your I'm sister so said, so Johnny, oh, cheers, man. Oh, Lordy. Isn't that the truth? You know, guys, this show is about having a good time and just sort of kicking back on a Friday. And we're having a great time. I hope you Always are, too. Always have a good time. All right, we got more we stuff have... here. We're getting to the brass tacks here, okay? All right, let's get it, because I want to get Kevin back out here. All right, we had directing and then best picture, right? And that's what we got? Yes. Okay, directing. All right, you want to do the, uh, you want it? You want me to do it? I'll read it. You do it. All you right, it's, it. it's your show. It's my turn anyway. It's your turn. You get to do best picture. Do it. No, we get to do it together. Well, all three all right, of us will cool. do it together. All right, directing. Arrival. Yeah. Okay. Hacksaw Ridge, Mel Gibson. Mm -hmm. La La Land, Damien Chazelle. Mm -hmm. Manchester by the Sea, that's Kenneth Lonergan. Lonergan. Yeah. Right? Good. Yeah. And uh, Moonlight. Moonlight, yeah. Which was a, a wonderful movie. Yes. I, I, any of these films could win for Best Director. To be honest, in my opinion, any of them. They were yeah. all fabulous. But because ho Hollywood... This is Hollywood. There are rules. Right? Hollywood right? loves itself. Damien Chazelle is winning... Best director. He I, won the Directors Guild Award. He's winning this one. And too. that's a big, that's a big telltale, yes. isn't it? Yes. When you do that, what do you think, Johnny? Same thing. Uh, I went, no, I went with Moonlight because I, I copied off of your page, Robert. <laughs> I don't know much about directing. No, no, that was actually saying what what I think should win. Oh, okay. Not, well, like, still, like, what's the director's name, guys? We don't, don't even know. I don't know. We, we gotta look it up. All right, hold on. I'm gonna get it because we suck. Okay, yeah. he's Ken's gonna we look suck. that up. But while Ken is looking up the director of Moonlight, um, I'm gonna say that La La Land, I do feel, is going to win for best director. Now, there was some great creativity. There was this whole thing about the cell phone. It was actually using an iPhone to film that whole opening sequence as opposed to heavy duty cameras, is what I'd heard. If that's true, I don't know. But that they had to do something where they had to redo it again. But that was pretty amazing, if you ask me, to do something on, a, on an iPhone. For a major motion picture, and you know what? These these little cameras on here, they do amazing They're things. They're pretty in fact, impressive. They, in fact, yeah. you're watching this right now yeah. on an iPhone, yeah. an iPhone 6s. So it is pretty amazing. So anyway, Ken, we don't have the director yet, but we're going to go ahead anyway. Yes, keep going. Okay, so now what's Dan's pick? Dan's pick. Okay, Dan for best directing. Okay, who? He, well, he wants Kenneth Longerin to win for Manchester by the Sea, um, but he said who will win again? Damien Chazelle for La La Land. And, and I agree with that. And his, his notes on this, there were, there were none. Now, for Manchester by the Sea, I thought it was a great movie. But you know what? For me, pacing has a lot to do with it. I thought it was very long. Kind of like what, our Moonlight? show gets sometimes. Yeah. No, no, no. Not Moonlighting. Manchester by the Sea. Oh, yeah. It was very long, and it was very heavy, and it was very sad. And sometimes you're just not in the right mood to hang in. Absolutely a depressing movie for me. Yeah. Manchester by the Sea. So. I, I, but... You Barry Jenkins was director. Yes, Barry Jenkins was the director of Moonlight. Of Moonlight. Yeah. And uh, he did an outstanding job. That movie is so well done. Yeah. And if he wins, he deserves it. Because I, he, I, I just, it, the shots, yeah. the story, the acting. You know, that could be the upset, all, though. I mean, everyone's saying La La Land is going to win everything. Oh, no, and you no, guys no, may no. agree. But Moonlight, I think, is going to pull some of these. I really do think Moonlight okay. is going to pull some of them. For directing, I got. La La Land, Mr. La La Land. Right. All right, well. We'll see. Who, who, who else we've got? You you said yours, you said yours. We got Dan's, right? We got yours. So let's move on to Best Picture, though. That's it. Go for That's it. That's the man. one. You all right. do the Best Picture. Okay, well, all right. Well, we'll, we'll announce the nominations, and Ken will talk about the thoughts and things on this. Mm -hmm. Arrival. There are a lot of pictures for Best Picture. Arrival, Fences, Hacksaw Ridge, 
Hell and High, Hell or High Water, which wasn't nominated for much else, but for Best Picture. Yep. Interesting. Uh, La La Land, Hidden Figures, Lion, Manchester by the Sea, and of course Moonlight. So we got some great pictures. Yes. What, now it's interesting. Now you explain to me what your thoughts are and why some pictures could be nominated for Best Picture, yet there are no other real major nominations for mm -hmm. some of those. How, do, how does that happen in your mind? In my mind, how does that happen? Yeah, you could be nominated for Best Picture, but you don't really get nominated for anything else. Is it just they, want, they had to fill a space? No, not at all. Well, b b obviously there are more films nominated for Best Picture. Look, you look right. at the list. It's it's eight, right? Am right. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So there are, or ten. I don't know. I, don't know. I can't count. Nine. Whatever. I'm at that point in Apple TV's with Ken. Right. I can't count. That's when we know we got to start wrapping the show up soon. But we got more music coming. Ken, can you bring back the? Uh, yes, we see. Absolutely. Coming. All right. So Ken had the best falsetto when we played Barbies. I did. Oh, Ken, you played Barbies oh with my. your sister. That's awesome. That is so Thank sweet. you very much for that. If my bro, try to suck less. My sister said, "Try to suck less." Yeah. Hey. You know what? That, that, that is our motto, guys. Yes. Whatever we do, we, we wish each other good luck before yeah. an audition, before we do a job, a show. Suck you know what? Here's to sucking less. Uh, uh, if you haven't seen that video by Ken, you should check that one yeah. out. It's pretty good. Oh yeah, Ken talks all about less. that. Okay. So right. moving on. Anyway. So best. So what? What's your pick for best picture? My pick is Moonlight. It's going to be the upset. Yeah. Right? I, I'm telling you, this film is great. Yeah. If you haven't seen it, go see it. Yeah. All the performances are better than strong. Yeah, All of I them. agree. I agree with that completely. And it's a good story. Really good story. The, the cinematography is wonderful. The, uh, it's gritty. It, I mean, it's, it's everything you want in a yeah. film, an Oscar-nominated film. Um, Arrival was great. Fences was mm -hmm. great. But to me, it seemed more like a play than it did like a film. Now, it was great. Right. But it seems nothing wrong with yes, that. But nothing wrong with that. Okay. Hacksaw Ridge, great film. Yeah. Mel Gibson's back on the map. Okay. Which which is controversial for some people. Yes, I'm but just saying, he's not winning. He's still a great actor. He's, yes, yeah. he's not winning because of that reason. Which is which is a shame, shame, but at no, the same time, it's not a shame. It's it's that's what's going to happen. It's the truth. It's the truth. There are politics right. in Hollywood. Don't tell mm. me there aren't. No, I'm not saying they're not. There, right. of course, are. Hell or high water. Very good film. Yeah. Strong performances by everybody. Yeah. Across the board, Jeff Bridges, both. He's beautiful. That guy, I love that guy. But is it but is it is it up to no, this picture? No, it's not going to be right. Moonlight. No. Okay. Hidden Figures, a very entertaining I love that movie. film. I love very that movie. Entertaining yeah. film, very yeah. polished, very style. Yeah. You know, it it was very polished. It's a great film. They captured the period. Not amazing. Beat Moonlight. <laughs> yeah. No, you're right. You're right. I, I agree with you actually. Lion, amazing film. Yeah. yeah. I loved it. Yeah. Dev Patel was awesome. The story, it's based on a true story. I mean, the story itself makes your heart just want to, you want to rip it out of your chest and go, oh my God, right? But that doesn't necessarily win Best Picture. No, no, it's not going to, it doesn't. You could rip get someone's enough. heart out and it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to win. Manchester by the Sea. So depressing, I wanted to slip my wrist. That doesn't yeah. seem enjoyable. Though. No. No, it wasn't. It wasn't, but, but some movies are there to teach you things. They're things to move you, to, to, to open you up, to wake you up, to shake you up, to slap you in the face. And, ow. Anyway, but what I'm saying is that that's not a reason to win Best Picture. Yeah. All right. Johnny, what about you? Um, I went with Fences. Fences, really? I did. All right. Because I okay. just think... You're a Denzel fan. I right? am. You are a Denzel I, fan. I'm a homer when it comes to Denzel, yeah. Um, I don't know. How much of this is based on the last, the previous award show where, where La La Land well, took everything? Happens. That I happens. mean, is that in the mind of whoever... Well, if you feel there's a winner, yeah. like, do people yeah. tend to lean towards, oh, everybody likes this, so I'm going to Because gonna it won the Golden Globe, it's right. going to win this. Nah, right. I don't think that's... It's not. It's, it's a guideline, but it's it not happens. a guarantee. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a guideline, but it's not a guarantee. Because right? so, you know you're gonna, there's going to be upsets. There's gonna sure, be, yeah. All right, so I, let's go over Dan's thing. Did Danny, you hear okay. yours yet? No. Go. Okay, no, I just with me, I'm thinking that... I would, I would, I would vote for Moonlight, which may be the upset, and that's what I'm, I'm hoping for. But La La Land, I think, may take this one because of all the hype and the, and you know what? There are things about the film that was enjoyable. If you get away from it, you let go and just take it for what it is. There's a lot that was good about it, but you know, I don't know. James Earl Jones knew how to do. That's yeah, right. your mom, your mom, mom, you're mom, right. You're right. My mom, Jones did and I will, I will plug my mom, who's a, a wonderful photographer as well. She's photogra photographed amazing people in her life. 
And um, she photographed James Earl Jones right after, and while he was doing Fences on Broadway and some amazing pictures. So go to, go to BettyMarshall.com, BettyMarshallPhotography.com, and check out some of her pictures, including James Earl Jones. And Mom, thank you for sharing that. Wow, did you just throw a plug in there for your mom? I did. That's did amazing. I was kind of shameless. Oh, no, yeah. shameless, no. Yeah. Hey, no, she's hey. a great photographer. Well, Here's, good. Yeah. Here's to you. Did you do my headshot? Yeah. I'm on my she, way. She could. She could, actually. We'll go down to Florida and do it. Okay. Road trip. Road trip. All right. Hey, we could do that. We could do um, Apple Teenies on the road. That would be well. Next week. Well, I'm, I'm sure. Yeah. Actually, yeah. We'll Excuse talk me. About that later. I'm sure. Okay. So we can't. We can't uh, give him a go. tease. We can't no, give him a tease. No, not yet. Go. All right. Anyway, but I'm saying Moonlight is my choice, but I think La La Land is going to take it. So, and Dan. All right, Dan Franco here. Best picture. Okay, this is going to be right at the top. Um, okay. Dan is voting for Manchester by the Sea. Dan, yeah, Manchester by the Sea. Heavy duty, powerful no, no, picture. No, no. That's who he wants. That's who he wants. No, I'm saying, I'm saying it's who he wants. Right. But but Dan is also saying La La Land is probably gonna take this one. Because Hollywood's uh, just falling all over itself. But you know what? Like you say, it could be an upset. I'm thinking um I'm thinking Moonlight, 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 Moonlight may be the surprise. Yes. Uh, all right. And that, that would make me happy. So okay. that kind of wraps it up for our That Oscar. does. This is us. Oscar Knight. Do, so, do that trivia question. Do you want to do, do, do real quick this, and then we're going to have some more music, and then we're going to wrap it up? Because we're going now 741. We only have a few minutes left. That's okay. We can keep going. doesn't matter. We'll get everything okay. in we want to get in. I, okay. I have Night Watchman updates as well. Ah, okay. Let's talk about that then. Oh, you want me to do Night Watchman? Talk about Night Watchman, because right. it's been a busy, busy week for it Night Watchman. Uh, the last okay. week in Washington, D.C., at the D.C. Um, Independent Film Festival. Which none of you watched, even though we were there doing a live show. Yes, so so poo on you for Night yeah, Watchman. Yeah, poo on you. But last week, last Friday night, we screened in D.C. Yeah, DCIFF. DC great time. And uh, we had a great screening. It was a packed house. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously people loved us because what we, we won the Audience Award. Yeah! yeah. All right. Award. All right. So, and that, to me, means a lot. Now, we, we were up against some really great films. One there Penny were one, one Penny was, was a great fun film. Right. Great Powerful film, film actually. Um, and, and other films in the festival. Yeah. But... To win the audience award to me is the best because it's not about five judges. Right. It's about the entire audience. What, that personal that appeal. There. Oh, we're getting yeah. a lot of hearts. We're getting a lot of hearts. Thank so, you, guys. Yes. Yeah. No, I agree with you. Completely. So yeah, we uh, we we had a good time and we won the uh, the uh, DC Metro Award, which essentially is the audience award right. for the Night Watchman. Now. We have also been accepted into another fest, which gives us 17 festivals so far. Oh my God, 17. 17. So yeah. who'd have thought? Right, who'd have thought? Um, right. where, we where we, we got accepted into the New the, 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 no, 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 the, no, 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 Jersey. New Jersey. Horicon in Edison, New Jersey, March 30th through April 1st. So this is two festivals in New Jersey. Yes, on the same weekend. Oh my God, what are people plus, in New Jersey going to do? They can't make up a choice. Plus... We're also going to be in the Annapolis Film Festival the same weekend. So we hey, have three hometown festivals, festivals. I think I can make on that the one. same weekend. You're going to do that because we're going to be. Tr I'm, I'm, I'm going to be in the Garden State that week. Got to go up to Jersey. Yep. I'm going to be trying to hit both the New Jersey Horror Con and the Garden State Film Festival that weekend because I got a lot, of, uh, you know, family up and, there. And, and can I ask where Penny? I'm from. I mean, there is a significance in these festivals because yes. while we're working on distribution and we're doing, I'm sure, pretty Apple Teenies on the Road is a game. Law, no, Jamie. Actually, it's not. It's not. It's well, not. We're gonna do it. Anyway, we have a driver. Yeah, exactly. A designated driver. Jamie. Yeah. So, but the fact is, is that um, these festivals mean a lot because they do in gaining not just laurels, but it's spreading word. It's getting audience, right? Absolutely. There's a there's a it's legitimacy the that, that, there that builds with that. There is because the more word of mouth we get. Uh, the more T-shirts we sell and hand out, and people are wearing them, and people want to know what what's going on right, with right. Night Watchmen, it it helps us in the long run. Absolutely. So, and 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 can we talk about Germany? What happened? No, we can't. All right. There's good stuff going on in Europe right now. That's all I'm saying. Okay, I can say that, right? Sure. Okay. Good good, <laughs> good stuff it going on. In, hey, it yeah, das war's in Deutschland. It yeah, it wasn't they me. Sell sure. beer no, I didn't say that. Nein, das war nichts gesagt. I didn't say anything. But that's what's Deutschland, yes. yeah. Okay. Read so, your email, Robert. Read your, read okay. your email. All right. right. Sorry. I'm not uh, copied on all, all right. of that. So that's it for the Night Watchman for now. Okay. Um, we have more announcements next week. Okay. Th good things are coming for the Night Watchman, and it just keeps coming. But we'll keep you updated on what's going on there. If you look real hard, you can see me and my son. Yes, yes, you can, you yep. can. Yes, okay. John Martone. So let's do that, and then we'll go back to uh, more music with Kevin.
Okay, follow Friday. So, follow Friday, as you guys know, on Twitter. It's sort of a sign of respect. It's sort of a cool thing to do. You do FF, and then you put in names of people that you want to call out, and it's a way of promoting them, promoting yourself, and saying thank you for some contribution that you've made. And, of course, you can see our Twitter accounts. Please look it up, Apple Teenies with Ken, and so forth, and each one of us have our own individual accounts. But we've got a couple we want to point out. So, John, are you going to hold those up to the camera? All right, so the first one is uh, at... TNWmovie.com, I mean, not .com, it's just at TNWmovie. It's a Twitter, it's account, Twitter right. account, right? So there's no .com. But please follow us there. We need more followers on our Twitter, Twitter account so we can get our festival updates out there and all the cool things that are happening with the Night Watch. Okay, John, next one. Next, next one. Okay, <laughs> now we have John Giovingo. John, who's holding these slips, one of our regular guys, who is one of the earlier guys, actually, to be on um, Apple Teenies with Ken. So do check out John. Follow him on Twitter. Let him know what's up. John will tell you what's going on. It's uh, at John underscore Giovingo. Perfect. And John is also a musician. He's out there. He's got a band, a new band. They're going to be playing around the area. So follow John for updates on when he's playing and where he's playing. Perfect. Next one, John. All right. And, of course... Follow us on Twitter, Apple Teenies W Ken. Not with, don't spell it out, just Apple Teenies W Ken. We need more followers. We only have 50. I would like to be above 100 by next week. Right? Yeah, get that paper out of there, Jeff. <laughs> okay, Apple Teenies W Ken. Now, of course, you can hashtag Apple Teenies with Ken on Facebook, so we have mm -hmm. a lot more followers there. But this is the Twitter account. Let's build that Twitter, guys. You'll hear all sorts of updates. And we also want your suggestions. What would you like to see on the show? What kind of guests? What do you want us crazy dudes talking about that can keep you, under, keep you busy and keep you watching? And no negative shit. No <laughs> negative shit. Well, some Real negative bad. shit. Or you're dead. Bad. Okay. All right. So... Let's I'm going to go around here because we're, All right, we're, we're about ready to hit some more music, people. So uh, let's get ready for some more Kevin. Well, Ken, I understand you have a beautiful soprano. I do. Or a falsetto. Uh, uh, we, need, do. we need barbers uh, for this. Awesome. And uh, can you all help me sing along a little so, bit? So we have to come in here. This is one of those we'll call and response kind of songs. We'll so I wanted to yeah. ask you, uh, what's the matter with the mill? Okay, I'm in. If you would just tell me it done broke down. All right, it done broke down. Broke down. Thank you, Kevin! 
very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. That was amazing, man. Absolutely awesome. Good stuff. Thanks for having me out, man. <laughs> Okay, and now, folks, we're going to wrap up Apple Teens with Ken. This was a good long show tonight. Ken, we got it. Let's bring it in. What do we got to say to our audience? What do we got to say? Guys, thank you for joining us tonight. As always. With our Oscar preview. Watch the Oscars on Sunday night. Join me next week because I will be in San Jose, California, at CineQuest with the Night Watchmen. With Robert Neal Marshall, Jackson, Mississippi, Jr., the third. Easy for you to say. Easy, easy. But join us next week. I'll also have Tom Selleck on the show. He'll be out there in San Jose. And, uh, hey, have a great weekend, people. Thanks for joining us. See you later. Kevin's going to play us Peace. out. Robert, take it over there. And let, let Kevin play us out. Thank you.